Hello guys, welcome back to my video tutorial. In my previous video, I already created a table. Create, sorry, I'm going to table and create a table and insert data to the table. But the problem when you show the data in the table employee, let me show you select select data from TBL employee and click on execute and you can see the ID the first up employee has the ID number 4 so mean that the but in the row number 1 but mean that the ID we set the auto increment is not correct when the error happen so in this video tutorial I'm gonna create one more table let's say I'm gonna create table salary or payroll I'm gonna create writing the actual and, and sorry and select the database demo db sorry and then I'm, I'm create table tbl underscore payroll in here and create a field id payroll id I'm gonna pay id int um, I am not set the auto increment and then EMP ID I'm gonna say INT and then I'm gonna say basic salary salary this more sorry point two eleven decimal two eighteen comma two and we mark and uh, I'm gonna rise um salary for salary for man Salary debt and then say salary debt and say debt and then I'm gonna click on execute. So if we want to see the to see the table, I'm gonna right click and click on refresh. Okay, I, I we will see the table at the payroll. So this this table is contain one, two, three, four, five, five columns. But in the ID, the payroll ID is INT with data type INT, but no auto increment. But we we have the technical to create the auto increment by manual by the technical of actual server. So when we insert data, I'm going to insert into TBL. Payroll. I'm gonna insert pay ID, comma, EMP ID, basic salary, eleven, and salary that it values EMP number one. Ah, oh, sorry. Pay payroll number one, EMP number four, and then basic salary. I'm gonna say one thousand US dollar point zero zero, and allowance. I'm gonna say five hundred US dollar point zero zero, and salary then. I'm gonna say two thousand nineteen twenty eight. Sorry, February and twenty eight. I'm gonna close the packet and then um close the issue block. And here I'm gonna click on execute. So the row is affected. I'm gonna show the data. Select 
Vista from TBL Peru. I'm gonna copy and pass and then and select and click on H shoot. So you will see the EMP number one. No, sorry, payroll number one with employee number four, basic salary, allowable salary debt. But in here, we, do, we don't want to input the ID, we want the auto generate from the technical. So, this video tutorial, I'm gonna create a function. Create function fn auto pay ID return sorry I'm gonna say mm, I'm gonna say return int begin and so in here um, I'm gonna say uh, select Mark. Sorry. Mark. Pay ID. From the TBL in Peru. And order by PID DSC. Let me select and click on execute. You will see number one, but and then we want to we declare the function, we declare the variable, declare add pay id ing and then set at pay id equal to we select the function okay and then we return return at pay id equal Sorry, plus equal one, and then we click on execute. We select the on execute. Okay, it's saw the error. Increase the change function. and select ID firstly we have to set at PID equal to zero and then let me execute again it's still so an error I'm gonna click execute again. It's still so an error, so let me check again and then set again. Return add pay ID. So let me execute again. And 
Music Cube is still so an error. Why? Good is it in YouTube? and function. Sorry. Yes. Yes. And we click again. It is still so an error. Increasing the return. Return volume cannot be used in the country. Okay. Okay, let's continue. When I click on execute, it's still an error. So, my um, achieve 102 level 15 and step one is called line increased in that need return. So, the function we have to open the bracket and close the bracket. Open and close the bracket and return the data type. I am return the integer as and begin. So after that, I'm gonna select, sorry, and click on execute again. So the command su complete successfully. So I'm go, go and check where the function. I'm go to programmability, click on expand and click on expand function. And I'm gonna, sorry, I'm refresh and click on function and click on expand discover function. Here the function that we create call f an auto pay id as this function and then we have to insert again or we I'm gonna solo so the the tbl payroll how the data type pay id mp id basic salary relevant salary then so when we create when we insert the data to the table tbl Payroll. We no need to input the pay ID. We just call the dbo dot fn underscore auto pay ID. So I'm gonna check and check the salary get to my and thirty thirty one. And I'm gonna click select and click on execute so the error so happen so sorry i put in correct block let's say pay id pay id and here the function that we call the auto id to the table i'm going to go f d b o dot f n underscore auto Pay ID here. I'm gonna execute again. And for 11, I'm gonna change something to make use no to 400. Oh, sorry, 5 and 5. When click on execute, so the data could not be bound. It means that they could not be bound because maybe the data is so the when we execute again so the data will be so I'm gonna call this function to make check select sorry select f um, underscore or I'm gonna copy the function to make to make this function if working correctly could not be recognized I'm gonna select D DBO dot yes like that and I'm gonna click on execute so the number should be 2 
but it show an error why because we not input the bracket so I'm going in the bracket and I'm gonna click on execute again so the data will be insert so we have to display this data here the auto generate so the auto number will be count or select mark or select the top value top value of the pay id and plus one when it when the firstly it should be zero when the plus one of it will auto one by one so i'm gonna change to measurement to session real 30 and select both statement and click on execute so the auto increment will increase the payroll id again so this function will recreate the auto increment id of payroll id with this technique called by we declare the variable with the data nt and set to zero to be protected the error when the empty of the variable and then we select the top one mean then we select the top value of the pay id to the to assign to the variable pay id at pay id and then set pay id equal plus and equal mean that it will auto from 3 plus 1 so the net value should be 4 let me show you to make be sure i'm gonna file and set to 1 and then i'm click on execute so the net value of pay this should be 4 is correctly yes so this the auto increment is this is the technical of actual server to create auto increment id by avasaya thank you for watching my video please like subscribe to get more video thank you see you in the video